Back in the World Cup this time, TK from Team US Northeast vs. Chill Shadow from Asia. I zoom with the Spectre Dragon, Scarf Landris, Megalopony, and then these three mons defensive core. Uh, like Rock Strand, Spikes, Ferrothorn, Leftover, Slowbro. On DDK side, Specs, Kaleo, probably AV Torn. Uh, Mega Slowbro. Then either Rocks on Tita and Spikes on Pharaoh, or it could be Double Hazard Ferrothorn. So turn 1, the switch into Slowbro is really obvious, so Chill Shadow could potentially double out into her Dragon. He does just go for Fake Out, plays it safe. Now DDK can either double out into his Pharaoh or his Tornadus, or he could just go for Scald. Because Chill Shadow is either going to go to his High Dragon or to his own Slowbro. Um, if you double into Tornadus, you kind of cover the Slowbro and the Torn, and you can then either go for Knock Off or U-Turn. Yeah, he doubles into Tornadus, good play from TDK. So you can just U-Turn here. Uh, Chill Shadow is either going to stay in and go for Scald or he's going to switch out into his Heatran. So I think U-Turn is a fine play because if the Slowbro stays in, you can probably go into your Ferrothorn. So unless the Slowbro from Chill Shadow has Flamethrower, it's a fine play. So now you can either Scald or you can double into Ferrothorn, um, anticipating the Slowbro. Yeah, makes a good double into Ferrothorn. Now you can get up his Rocks or, or Spikes, depending on what hazards he has on the Ferro gets up his Rocks. Now he's most likely going to go back into Keldeo. You um, usually don't want to go a slow bro on Heatran just in case Heatran carries Toxic. But we do see it's a Willow Wisp Heatran. Now, you can either Scald or double back into Ferrothorn. Doubles back into Ferrothorn anticipating the uh, slow bro. Good play by TDK si on TDK's side. So he can knock off here, or if he's a double hazard Ferrothorn, he can get up a spike. Um, Chill Shadow tries to get a burn. Also, Chill Shadow has no hazard control, and I'm kinda sure it's a double hazard Ferrothorn. So eventually, if TDK gets up the spikes. Um, Specs Kelio is going to be a huge problem for Chill Shadow because Slowbro cannot even switch in with uh, all the hazards up if they go up. So yeah, that's the spike finally. And I guess he can just click multiple spikes or he can knock off again anticipating Chill Shadow to switch out in the Heatran. Gets up another spike. So either, yeah, I think Kelio is going to come out again. Tita is an option as well, but you would probably don't want to go Tita. So uh, Chill Shadow gets up his rocks. Now this Kelio can probably click Hydro Pump. And um, I think the Slowbro gets Tweet killed with all the hazards up if he goes for Hydro Pump. He just has to connect. So the Hydro Pump comes out, does a million. Uh, Chill Shadow is now forced to go into his Ferrothorn. Uh, TDK can just click Hydro Pump again because even Ferrothorn is going to take a good chunk with all the hazards. And now TDK can switch out to his own Ferrothorn just to block a lead sheet. I assume Chill Shadow is going to get up a spike um, predicting that switch. Um, he shouldn't. Oh, he goes for knockoff. That's also a good play, getting rid of TDK's leftovers. Now TDK can get up his third spike. I assume Chill Shadow is gonna get up his first spike. Yep. And TDK can, um, I guess, click knockoff here to get rid of Chill Shadow's leftovers. Chill Shadow expects him to go for knockoff. Goes hard into Mega Low Punny. Good play on Chill Shadow's side. Now either Slowbro or, um, or Torn can come out here. Um, double into her Dragon is an option. Like t I think going Torn might be a good play because. Um, it probably does a high jump kick after rocks, and in case he doubles into um, high dragon, that's a really good mid ground, right? So exactly, that works out perfectly fine for TDK, and now he's um, free to just click knockoff and get rid of the high dragon specs. Chill Shadow switches out in the heatran, so you get rid of the heatran's leftovers. So um, he can U-turn out. I assume he doesn't have superpower on this, so we're probably gonna see a U-turn into either the Keldeo or the Tita. He might not want to go Keldeo because it's already chipped a bit and uh, hazards are up, so Tita might be the, the play here for TDK. This Tita can uh, be two things. It could be Choice Scarf or it could be Smooth Rock. So Hedron chose Lava Plume. Um, I guess Tita is just going to go for Crunch here. And now uh, Lopunny or Lando is going to come out for Chill Shadow. But yeah, these hazards are pain for Chill Shadow. Uh, pretty sure TDK uh, should win this. He's in a really good position here. So Landris comes out. I assume we're going to see a U-turn from Chill Shadow's Landris. And TDK is free to go into his Tornadus. Um, Tornadus can eat up the U-turn. And so let's say Chill Shadow U-turns on an incoming Tornadus. What would he go to then? I guess he would go into have to go into his low punny. Most likely, yeah. Because High Dragon um, doesn't do that much to the Tornadus if it knocks off the most likely choice spec. So he does go for U-turn expecting the Torn. So Lopani comes out and I assume TDK is just going to go to Slowbro here. So let's see if Chill Chill wants to predict that and pull a double into High Dragon. Oh, he goes on the Ferrothorn. Oof. It's okay, Chill Chill shows Copycat. That's really interesting. Copycat's the U-turn for Momentum. Um, I guess TDK was predicting him to just go for a return of Fake Out. And he wanted to get um, the chip damage off. So he sacks his Ferrothorn onto the Dark Pulse, that's most likely Choice Specs. I think we're gonna see a knockoff here from the Tornadus, uh, which will be able to get rid of the most likely Choice Specs. So that way he can eat up the Dark Pulse, and now he can, um, I guess, just click Hurricane and probably sack off the Torn to the next Dark Pulse. 
and then he can go to either Kelio or Tita to revenge this. And yeah, going Tita pretty much confirms that it's most likely Choice Scarf Tita. I think we're just gonna see a crunch from the Tita. There's no point in risking uh, missing a Stone Edge. Yep, confirms that it's Choice Scarf Tita. No Lopani or Lando gonna come out, most likely Lando. I think Lopani dies to Hazards, my bad guys. Lopani dies to Hazards, so Lando comes out. Um, probably clicks U-turn here, TDK can go into his slow bro. And let's say you U-turn on the slow bro, then you have to go Pharaoh or your own slow bro. Yeah, I don't see Shield Shadow winning this <laughs> with all the hazards up. Um, Scarfta is still useful, can lift another round of rocks and spikes. And it can crunch the uh, slow bro for super effective damage if he needs something for slow bro. So just just go into his own slow bro. Uh, either no matter what, uh, like even if you off quicks, the slower would be forced to slag off. But if you don't, um, yeah, you can go Pharaoh. So um, TDK, um, I don't know if he wants to stay in with Slowbro and then revenge it, the Pharaoh with something. Yeah, oh, he has Flamethrower, that's cool. So he doesn't even have to switch out there, he just has Flamethrower to be uh, able to get rid of that. TDK goes, Chilchata goes back into Landris and can just click off quick at this point. Off quick guarantees him a kill. TDK has no um, ground immunity anymore. Sex of the Kel, you I assume you're gonna see the. Uh, slow bro come back out or the drill maybe probably the slow bro come out and with regenerator i think it's able to lift the next earthquake and then you can go for slack off well it's actually a bit closer than i thought it would be yeah he goes slow bro and i don't know if this can live i guess if he doesn't want to risk oh yeah it's, he can just mega and lift the earthquake what am i saying so mega slack off uh, otherwise, if he wasn't Mega, he had to switch out. I mean, it's pretty obvious that he's Mega. I just forgot about it for a second. So, you can just slack off again here. No reason to risk anything. And now TDK can, I guess, command up and just win with his slow, bro. <laughs> I completely forgot that he's Mega for a second. But, yeah, he has no other Mega on his team. It's, like, really obvious. And, yeah, obviously, this slow, bro beats um, normal slow, bro, regular slow, bro. Unless Chill Shadow has, like, a toxic tech. But he would have already gone for it if he had it. But, yeah, he's Flamethrower, Calmine, Slag off and... Um, is he Scald? Did he already show that? I think he already showed Scald, yeah, yeah. So Burn obviously doesn't matter, and yeah, Chilchero will try to go for the Freeze at once, but since this has Scald, that doesn't even matter if he gets the Freeze. So yeah, TDK can, I guess, go for Slack off here, play it safe, CM first. I would have gone for Slack off first, but it doesn't matter, he has this in the back. So now he can Slack off, then uh, Chilchero goes Landris. So after you Slack off here, you can then just click Scald. And Chilchilla has to either off or U-turn here. U-turn does nothing, so he's gonna go either Slack Lopani or back to Slowbro. I assume we see Scald here from TDK. He's gonna do a huge chunk, okay, just slacks off. It's a completely fine play. Now you can click Scald or you can see him to plus 6, completely up to him. Like, at this point, this is, like, not losable for TDK. And so I guess he's gonna go to plus 6 and then he's gonna start clicking Scald. And it's gonna do a lot. And yeah, if Chilchilla had, if Chilchilla had Calm Mind on his Slowbro, um, this might have been interesting, potentially, I don't know. I think he still would have lost it probably. But yeah, he slacks off again there, and now Skull pretty much is gonna either tweet KO Slowbro or he's gonna have to slack the low pony here. I think Skull definitely tweet KOs, especially with all the hazards up. Slacks off again. So he's playing it super safe. I thought he would have clicked Skull there. Um, but yeah, like I said, it didn't really matter. He had that wrapped up, and that just kills the Slowbro. So now um, low pony dies to hazards and Landris can try to off quick. It's gonna do nothing and then die to Skull. So TDK picks up the win for his team. Stay tuned for more content. Uh, he actually slacked off there instead of scalding. I guess he's playing it extra safe. <laughs> now he finally scalds. Thank you guys for watching. Expect more content later. And uh, maybe also some guest uploads from my man Seal for ADV. And Ultra Bolts might narrate his own games. Uh, stay tuned for that. Have a fantastic day. Smash that like button if you enjoy. And goodbye. I mean, well played, well played by TDK. Props to him. Goodbye. I like those doubles earlier, especially uh, into Ferrosan to get up hazards.